The Sultana is an all-new character stronghold. As a historical figure, she was a Sultan's widow who played a crucial role after his death during the Seventh Crusade against Egypt. Uh, in Crusader II, she's cast as a sort of world-weary freedom fighter, which actually ties into one of the game's big themes for us. We always get historical accuracy correct in strong games, but in Crusader II, we're doing our best to portray the Arab forces they really were during the Crusades, which is, you know, as freedom fighters against foreign invasion. I mean, there's plenty of factual accuracy there. I mean, you've got the Arabic walls and different troop types like the Sassanid Knight, but it's also really important to convey that the Crusaders were definitely the bad guys in this story, you know, however lovable we try and make uh, Richard the Lionheart. So the Sultana will not make life easy for you. She prepares the use of specialised units like the Assassin to attack, so while her overall numbers may be fewer than other lords, the troops she does recruit are significantly more deadly. Uh, her castle economy is geared towards producing gold to recruit these troops, so she'll protect buildings like the mercenary camp and you know, others quite fiercely. A bit like the Caliph, uh, the Sultana's castle may not look heavily fortified, but she'll have plenty of assassins in hiding waiting to kill your units as they enter, so looks can be deceiving. The Sultana can attack at any time during a match. Because the timings of her attacks are slightly unpredictable, it's usually a good idea to prepare for attack as early on as possible. Uh, when she does attack, she tends to use distractions as a means of catching you off guard. The Sultana will attack with multiple squads of troops, distracting you with one while flanking you from behind with another. To defend against the Sultana, you'll need lots and lots of archers, as her preferred method of attack is through assassins. She may send these assassins in on their own, you know, in which case she's hoping to scale your walls, slip by your defences undetected using the assassin's camouflage ability, and kill your lord before you even know what's going on. And to counter this, you'll need lots of archers placed evenly on your walls, and up in towers as well, to give them the best sort of sight and range advantage possible. Another method of attack for the Sultana is to use siege equipment to blast a hole in your walls for rushing in assassins to deliver the killing blow. One good way to avoid this is to have a squad of archers behind the walls and use their arrow volley ability to shoot around the siege equipment, hopefully killing any assassins that may be lurking in the shadows. Since the Sultana's economy is based around gold production and the recruitment of special units, the best way to launch a siege is by targeting the buildings that produce these units. Um, you'll want to make your first line of attack either cheap units like the convicts or slaves um, to use them as cannon fodder, or use archers to take out the assassins before they reach your troops. Once you've got through their castle walls and her initial layer of attack, you'll want to look out for what units she has and take advantage of her low number of troops. If the Sultana has recruited Sassanid Knights, for example, put your pikemen at the front and take them out with their digging ability. If she's recruited whirling dervishes, put forward lots of heavily armoured troops like maybe some Templar Knights and take them out before they decimate your weaker troops like the archers. If you can deal with her special units, the Sultana's castle is essentially yours for the taking.